I get to show you how to make this today. I'm excited. Hi guys, my name is Lisa Leslie and today we're making a Hollywood sign cake. I love the way this turned out and it was really kind of easy to make. So let's get started. Now if you've been following me for a while then you know that I've already created a Hollywood sign cake. I created this baby, which was in the background of the movie La La Land. It's one of the set pieces that they walk through at the end of the movie. I decided that I wanted to update it, especially because the footage is so old and I don't like the lighting. So I was like, let's just do a different take on the Hollywood sign. And I'm liking the simplicity of the one that I'm creating now. Let's create this cake. I'm using an ugly shape. Very strange looking, right? I used my adjustable cake pan and the reason I decided to use this was because I'm making a mountain and it's not a perfect shape at all so I'm basically making an oval shape and the thing that I love about this is that you can just create whatever shape you want. You're basically just joining a whole bunch of different silicone panels together. You do this, you turn it into a loop, right? And these become the walls of your cake. So you place it on a piece of parchment paper and voila! You got an adjustable cake pad. Look at that, not perfect at all. Perfect shape for a mountain though. Am I right? Now the inside of this cake is just created with blue and white buttercream. And then on top I'm using a pink buttercream. I like the color combination. And it made sense to do it for the Hollywood cake because there's a lot of colors in Hollywood. There's also a lot of things I don't want to mention. Hollywood Boulevard is a crazy place at night. And you're gonna notice that the second layer of cake is actually smaller. So what I did was just take this, took one of these strips out, made it smaller, and voila, we got a smaller size cake. Now to add some more texture to my mountain, I'm using a six inch round cake as filler. I just cut out random pieces and just glued it on to the front of the cake. I'm also going to add some pink and white and glue on a little bit more to the top. Then I started to round down my edges and carve it. So it is a mountain. I'm just rounding it all out so it looks like a mountain. How specific am I going to get? That's as specific <laughs> as I'm going to get. <laughs> There's no real technique. The only thing you really don't want is hard corners so round all of those out but if your cake looks completely different to this as long as you have that basic mountain shape you're you're doing well and that's what I love about this cake is that it doesn't really have to look like mine now I'm gonna give my entire cake a crumb coat of buttercream just using some vanilla Ooh, I like the way this looks the color on funfetti man is everything now after I crumb coated my entire cake, it's time to add the final layer of buttercream. For the bottom of the cake, I'm using chocolate buttercream. You know, most of this cake is going to be covered with green buttercream, but I wanted the bottom of it to look like dirt. So that's why I'm using chocolate. Wait, so this isn't a mountain, it's just a hill, right? Because it's the Hollywood Hills? So I guess I'm wrong, but let's start creating this hillside. I decided to create my hillside with buttercream as opposed to fondant. Using three different colors of green buttercream as well as a ton of different tips. The different textures of the tips as well as all of the different kinds of green add so much depth to this cake and make it look so interesting. Now besides icing, I'm also adding different colored sixlets as well as some sprinkles. Once I was happy with my hillside, it's time to add my fondant Hollywood sign pieces. I just googled Hollywood sign, um, printed out the letters, then cut them out on fondant. And for a little bit more glamour, I'm adding different size stars. And voila! My Hollywood sign cake was complete. Satisfying, right? I love how there isn't that much fondant. <laughs> but I love the way I used it here because the smooth white lettering looks great against the texture of the buttercream. Now I was gonna do a more realistic interpretation of the Hollywood sign, but it looks... I don't really like it. 
<laughs> There's like a building at the top and the grass isn't really this green so I was like, you know what, let's just have a little bit of fun and create something that looks a little more aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> And I'm curious, would you like to see me make more landmarks? I've got this great idea for like the Empire State Building as well as Eiffel Tower. I think those would be really cool to execute. Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!